Today we're gonna to be talking about online courses through Thinkific and how I've basically used my YouTube channel to become a organic marketing engine to drive traffic to my courses. My name is Jevin Dovey. I'm a YouTuber, I'm a content creator, documentary filmmaker, I have a production company, but I actually started YouTube just because I needed a creative outlet. So I started it just for fun. And after doing it for about a year, I really saw the potential with YouTube and it's definitely become an entirely different revenue stream for me. With YouTube, there is so many different outlets to make money and this is something that I teach all the time on YouTube. My channel is basically a few different things. I do filmmaking tutorials, I do product reviews, I do YouTube training, and then I also do like adventure films and just some vlogs from like behind the scenes. I actually am running a membership platform. So I started off doing one-off courses, you know, $100 courses, $500 courses, and then I decided to do something a little bit different and move everything to a subscription versus just doing launches and one-off product. All my courses are on the creatorfilmschool.com. So the creatorfilmschool.com is a platform that I built using Thinkific and it's a membership platform that is just my courses. This isn't like a course platform that has a bunch of other people. I'm using Thinkific's templates and I've built basically my own platform, which Thinkific makes it super simple to do that. I took my passion of travel and going out there and doing adventures. I'm an alpine climber, I'm a mountaineer, and I like to go create films around traveling and adventures and the different things that I do. Now I did that for about a year and got you know little to no followers on my channel. It was basically just fun. I was creating videos. I shot like 200 videos that first year, just creating creating lots of content. Then I started seeing when I would do a filmmaking tutorial or like a product review, that my channel would start growing. And that's because these videos are search-based videos. And what a search-based video means is that when you type something in YouTube and the search results pop up, if you optimize your video properly, you can pop up to the top of those search results. People are always looking for reviews, they're always looking for how-tos, they always wanna know how to do something, how to do something better, they're learning stuff. Like YouTube is a great platform to do educational content. So if you're thinking of doing courses or you're thinking of doing anything in this space, you're already set up to create content on YouTube because the content that you're gonna create for your courses can also be created for YouTube. And online courses are such an easy way to make additional income because there's really no overhead. Basically, your cost comes from making the product. And once that product is made, you don't really have to invest that much more money into it. Now there's so much information and so many tricks that go into basically getting your video to pop up at the top, but what it really comes down to is a few things. YouTube's main goal is to get people to watch content longer so they can serve up more ads. If your video is getting people to watch through the entirety of the video, and then they're clicking on to watch another 20 minutes of content, then YouTube's gonna say that your video is good and the algorithm's gonna push it higher in the system. Now, if I do any video that relates to something in my course and somehow can connect, then I always pitch somewhere in that video. If I'm talking about like B-roll footage, I'm talking about you know cinematic footage, then I'll talk about how you can sell this as stock footage and right there, I have an opportunity to pitch my course on how to sell stock footage. So the idea is that you wanna create organic content, you wanna create content that people want to consume on YouTube, and you're not becoming salesy, but if there's an opportunity, you fuse your course in there and you say, oh, by the way, I have a course on this. Now, a really powerful way to build your email list and get more people to buy your courses is to have a freebie. So I have a few freebies that I give out. One of them is a one hour YouTube training talk that I did and I put it together as a course. I actually built it on Thinkific, which is cool and people can click in and it's an email capture. The emails are already in Thinkific and I also tie it into ConvertKit. So the email software that I use is ConvertKit. I wanna talk about why I decided to do a membership over a high ticket item offer. Now obviously with YouTube, it's always gonna be feeding people into your course because your old videos live forever. However, when you do one-off sales, you're basically only gonna get people to pay once and then you have to get them to buy again on a different product. With a membership, if you're able to have an offer that you can continually add content into, then a membership is something that is gonna just grow and you don't have to always worry about launching a new product to be able to make money. It's going to build and each month, it's gonna get more and more and more 
And that's kind of the beauty about membership sites. Before, when I was just doing launches, what happened was I, it would take me months and months and months to be able to get to a point where I had a finished product and then you have to launch it. And then you're basically at, at square one again when you're ready to move on to your next product. One of the things that I always suggest is that when you're building out a course, come up with your idea and what you wanna build out for your course, you need to look at your competitors. You need to see who else is creating courses around the same type of topic. Do some research, really dig into this and go buy those people's courses. Go see what they're offering. Go see what people get out of those courses. Now I know this was like a quick overview and I just talked through a bunch of different ideas and concepts, but essentially the process is this. You create organic content on YouTube. You're going to infuse it with either just a link in your description with some information, or you're actually going to talk about your course or mention it if it ties into the content that you're creating, and you're gonna be driving that back to the courses. You're gonna create your full built out courses. These are step-by-step -step guides. Or if you're someone who's gonna have like a membership platform, then you wanna have all of that built. But the big thing is you need to make sure that if you're gonna be creating content on YouTube, that your YouTube is like its standalone product. Like YouTube is its own thing. You want standalone videos, five to 10 minute videos, things that are quick to consume, but at the same time, keep people on the platform for a little bit longer than like a minute or two. You want people to stay through the end of your video and then watch more of your videos. So create playlists, create a series of four videos, but all of that can be driving into your courses. All right, if you have any questions about YouTube and about using YouTube as a marketing engine for your courses, come find me on YouTube at Jevin Dovey. That's where you can find all of my videos, I do a ton of free trainings on YouTube itself. And then also, like I said, just reach out to me, find me on Twitter, Instagram, 